Hey guys. Welcome to my channel. Today we gonna talk about the company who changed the world. Nessel is a Swiss company established by Henry Nessel in 1866, he was born in Switzerland in 1814, he started a very humble beginning, he did not dream of becoming an influential human being, he studied chemistry, then practiced in pharmacology, and learned about practice and experience, there was no great development in this field at the time. He was a fan of trade, trying to help others. In 1843, Henry Nessel raised some money and bought a small factory, which made and sold walnut and hazelnut oil, then he was 29 years old, very influenced by the death of babies who were not able to breastfeed from their mothers, so he tried a lot to invent cow milk substitute, he mixed it with wheat flour in the year 1867. In the same year, the logo was designed, it was a bird's little nest, it was designed like that because it meant for Henry protection, safe, motherhood, affection, nature, food, family and heritage. To this day Nessel still uses the same logo. Henry Nessel stated in 1867 that his discovery would have a great future, he was right. His company was the first to sell food to children, dried coffee, iced coffee, concentrated milk in Europe, and to manufacture chocolate milk. A year after the establishment of his company, Charles Beige, the American consul in Switzerland and his brother George, founded a factory for producing concentrated milk in a region called Cham, and they used the Nestle method and the style of Gail Borden, founder of the Borden Condensed Milk Company. The two companies were in excellent and good condition until the year 1874. In the 1875, Henry Nestle had reached the age of more than 61 years and preferred not to continue and retire, so he decided to sell Nestle for a million Swiss francs, that amount was a fortune in those days. The new owner of Nestle entered into a fierce competitive battle with Charles Beige Company, which lasted until 1905, nearly 30 years. After, the officials of the two companies decided to merge it under the name of Nestle, and in 1906 they started selling chocolate, spread food and dried drinks in a large way at the beginning of the 20th century. In 1907 Nestle started permanently manufacturing and selling its products in Australia and built warehouses in Singapore, Hong Kong, and Bombay to cover the needs of the Asian market. In 1914, the First World War affected raw materials and sources of milk. He decided to stay away from the areas that were not affected and headed to America. Forty factories were built, but with the end of World War I, Nestle found itself in a real crisis, because those who used to buy powdered milk during the war returned and relied on fresh milk, the milk that had the most value in the days of war and shelters, and that preserved for a long time. Nestle recorded its first loss in 1921. Matters became worse. The price of raw materials increases, the economic recession after the war, the deterioration of currencies. To save the situation the response of the Nestle management was very fast and brought a Swiss bank expert Louis to reorganize the company. Things improved by his presence, he managed to reduce the company's debt significantly. The year 1929 was Nestle's first expansion into new products, with chocolate manufacture becoming the company's second most important activity. Swiss was the first company to invent chocolate milk, its owner was Daniel Peter, who was a friend and neighbor of Henry Nestle, later this company was merged under the banner of Nestle. His discovery was able to save a child born prematurely, his situation was hopeless according to the doctors. The name of his product was La Farine Lacti Nestle. This discovery achieved an unexpected turnout so that the factory was not able to fulfill all the requests at that time. Nestle made expansions and increases in the types of products. In 1920 Nestle produced Milo Nutritional Syrup, Nescaf coffee drink was produced in 1938 and was the best-selling product. The most famous products of Nestle Company. Nescaf, Nesquik, Milo, Cerillac, Kitkat, Milkabur, Nido, Smarties, Crunch, Maggie, Lion, Fitness, Condensed Milk, and last but not least L'Oreal Makeup. Nestle's participation in L'Oreal has been beneficial to both companies for many years. L'Oreal knows that it has the full support of its two biggest shareholders, Nestle and the Betancourt family. Currently it is one of the most famous food industries companies in the world, it owns more than 8,500 types of food products and has more than 489 factories around the world, it operates more than 221,000 employees and workers, the products are sold in more than 100 countries.